Every beer has a story. The better you tell it, the more you'll sell. Good sales starts with great storytelling, and we have some amazing stories to tell about our brewery partners. Beer distributor, Lewis Glunt's. The first one is a variety pack of four different beers. And Chicago's Lewis Glunt's beer delivers stories at little or no cost through the local news. Hanukkah beer, the Jubilation 14 from Schmaltzburg and Company in New York. In 2012, Glunz managed an astonishing 133 million free media impressions. That's nearly $6 million in free advertising. The ongoing campaign helped drive double-digit sales growth over the last 10 years and gave Glunz a virtual sales team, helping consumers discover new beer by alerting customers that don't know about our beers. So it gets the name out there, and when they're in the stores, then they'll see that, like it's the Stiegel or a Breckenridge or what have you. They'll see that, they'll hear it, they'll read it, and then they'll see it when they're out shopping. And Glunt's realized they needed more than standard advertising to promote and market the many craft beer labels they sell. I still remember the day my father pounding his fist on the desk saying, we will not be a specialty distributor, we are a mainstream distributor. And it was dad, this great, but there's no more big brands coming down the line. We need to start doing something different. Different products, different earned media marketing. It was something that came out of necessity because these brands didn't have the dollars and the wherewithal to really push their products. And so we had to do it for them. If somebody comes to us with a brand, it's our responsibility to do everything we can to sell that brand. It's not just something where we drop the boxes off and walk away and say, thank you. You know, our job only begins when somebody entrusts us with their brands. They're entrusting us with their baby, and it's up to us to get out there and do the best possible job we can for it. So the Glunt's marketing team partnered with PR firm Wagstaff Worldwide, which helped tell the story of the great brands Glunt's delivers to market. That positioned Glunt's to be the local Chicago beer expert for the media. A big part of Glunz's job is to educate retailers. When it comes to the bars, we really have to show them these menus of list their beers, talk about them, tell them about the different styles, tell them about the different flavors. Or the media needs a go-to person for their stories. They need a partner who's going to be able to teach them these trends and the styles and the things that are happening. And we are that go-to partner with a lot of the media partners in Chicago. Uh, these guys use fresh wet hops from the harvest. There's the often no instant hops. return on great public oh, relations. Online. But Glunz patiently stuck with its plan. Glunz, the best job in the world. Many beer distributors, at a time when they didn't think that having a PR company was a valid resource to invest in, our company did, and we've done it for years, and it's now paying off. And it is truly one of the best investments that we've made. The Glunz family has spent the last 125 years making smart choices, from surviving the Great Depression to using modern multimedia outreach, Glunz is thriving in a challenging economy. And good public relations isn't just media impressions. We have to sell our story on all levels. So we tell it to the politicians. We bring them in to tour the facility as often as we can. Um, we go visit them. And that's so important when you look at with media, when they don't know something that they feel comfortable enough to come to us and say, can you explain to me what is this new barrel aged beer? What does that mean? So they come to us and ask us those questions in an environment that allows them to learn. And it's really important to build those relationships. It's critical. It's critical to getting those sorts of impressions. Impressions driving impressive sales. In Chicago, I'm Andy Field, NBWA TV.